Hello, sports fans, and uh, welcome to uh, night day two of the NFL draft, round two and round three. The Browns will pick tonight in uh, the third round. They have pick number seventy four and pick ninety number ninety eight, and then that, that pick number ninety eight is courtesy of the Jets. So we'll get to talk more NFL draft in just a moment, but uh, first. Here is today's Scott Sports 101 NFL Draft trivia question. Who did the New York Jets take as the number one overall pick in the 1996 NFL Draft that featured the likes of Ray Lewis, Terrell Owens, and Jonathan Ogden? I will have the answer later in the podcast. Well, last night we had some interesting picks. And the Panthers had the, the first one. They took. Quarterback Bryce Young from Alabama. We had three Ohio State Buckeyes go off the board. But Bryce Young, I thought, was a good choice for Carolina to take him because they do need a quarterback. But uh, the uh, when they got to uh, the uh, – to the uh, – uh, Number two, we got uh, C.J. Stroud, quarterback, Ohio State. That's who the Texans took. In the section, the uh, Jaguars traded their pick to the Texans, that number three pick. And the Texans took Will Anderson, linebacker, Alabama. Uh, moving down to the number six pick, the uh, Cardinals took uh, Paris Johnson, Jr., defensive tackle, Ohio State. And then the... the uh, The uh, Seahawks took uh, Jackson Smith, Nachiba, with the 20th pick, uh, wide receiver, Ohio State. And one that's waiting to get out the, was hoping to get off the board is the second quarterback, uh, uh, Will Levis. He was hoping to get him last night, but did not. And uh, so he had to wait till today, till tonight. And hopefully he will get it. Hopefully we'll see if he gets off the board tonight. And we're just about the yeah, draft is getting underway, and hopefully we're gonna uh, it'll, round two will open very shortly in just a few moments. And uh, now I do think the Browns are gonna take. Uh, to take either a wide receiver or an edge rusher. Uh, with uh, either the 74th, with either with pick number 74 or uh, pick number 98. And we're within the close draft. It's live in Kansas City, which uh, Kansas City had wrapped it up at the 31st pick last night. They took Felix. Uh, Edgar Dyke, uh, uh, Uzoma, and uh, defensive end Kansas State. We gotta get selected into first. Yeah, Will Levis did not get selected in the first round. He's hoping to get selected uh, tonight. Hopefully, one. Let's uh, He's hoping not to wait too long. We'll see. And uh, I know he's really hoping. And and uh, and Jalen Hyatt. He's hoping to get, uh, the wide receiver in Tennessee. One of the best ones in Tennessee. He's hoping to get picked tonight. And we'll see if he does get picked. And uh, and Kaylee Ringo, the uh, Georgia cornerback, uh, he's hoping to get picked tonight. He's one of the best. And we'll, we'll see if he doesn't. Daniel Washington, Georgia tight end. He, sorry, no, Washington, uh, Georgia uh, tight end. Uh, he's hoping to get picked tonight. Hopefully we'll have a lot of people, a lot of, uh, these uh, names celebrating tonight, and uh, and uh, so we shall see. And uh, and uh, the with well, the number twelve pick, the Detroit Lions, because they traded one of their picks. Uh, they took uh, Jameer Gibbs, running back, Alabama. That was another one from Alabama that. Uh, Came up, but there was one from Tennessee that the Bears took, and they traded one up to Darnell Wright, offensive tackle, Tennessee. So, uh, 
And the Eagles with the number nine pick, they took Jalen Carter, defensive tackle, Georgia. And hopefully, they got to come up right now. Hopefully, they get back on, on the air very shortly. And we get underway. Uh, and with the fourth pick, the Colts took Anthony uh, Richardson, uh, quarterback, Florida. And they also didn't take one. That was a good move. With the fifth pick, the Seahawks had that one. They took uh, D uh, Devon Witherspoon, uh, cornerback, uh, Illinois. And the Raiders, with the seventh pick, took Tyree Wilson, a defensive end, Texas Tech. Uh, and then we're here with the Falcons. They took Brian Robinson, running back, uh, running back from uh, Texas. With the eleventh pick, the Titans took uh, Peter uh, Goronsky. And he's a guard, Northwestern. And with the 13th pick, the Packers, who will not, we're now without Aaron Rodgers, they won't be the team, they may not be the team they were, they've been the past several years. They took Lucas Vinness, defensive end, uh, Iowa, with the 14th pick. The Steelers took uh, Broderick uh, Jones, defensive tackle, Georgia, and that was a good one for them to take. With the 15th pick, the Chats. Took uh, Will Mc, McDonald, the fourth uh, linebacker, Iowa State, with the 16th pick in the first round. Uh, the, command, the Washington Commanders took uh, Emmanuel Forbes, uh, quarterback, Mississippi. Uh, with the 17th pick, the uh, Patriots took Christian uh, Gonzalez, cornerback, uh, Oregon. With the 18th pick, the Lions took Jack uh, Campbell, linebacker, Iowa. Of uh, the 19th pick, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers took uh, uh, Kalia Kansi, defensive tackle, Pittsburgh. Uh, with the 21st pick, I already mentioned with the 20th that Seattle took uh, uh, Jackson Smith Najiba, wide receiver, Ohio State. Uh, the 21st pick, the Chargers took Quentin Johnson, wide receiver, TCU. The 20th. Second pick, the Ravens took Zay Flowers, wide receiver, Boston College. And as you know, it was a busy day for the Ravens yesterday. The Ravens put on the mark. Your contract worth two hundred sixty million. And I think that was a good move. They needed to hold on to him, even though uh, uh, Lamar Jackson won out of Baltimore. It was good that he's, he's staying there. The Vikings with the twenty third pick took Jordan Addison, wide receiver, USC. Twenty fourth pick, the Giants took. Uh, Deontay Banks, cornerback, uh, Maryland. Uh, but the 25th pick, the Bills, uh, who moved up from that one, they from he moved up from 27. They took Dalton Kincaid, uh, tight end, Utah. The 26th pick, the Cowboys took uh, Mazi Smith, defensive tackle, Michigan. The 27th pick, Jacksonville took Anton uh, Harrison. Uh, Offensive tackle, Oklahoma. Bengals with the 28th pick. They took Miles Murphy, uh, defensive end, Clemson. And uh, with the 29th pick, the Saints took Brian, Bre Brian Breeze, defensive uh, tackle, Clemson. And with the 30th pick, the Eagles took Nolan Smith, linebacker, Georgia. And as I said, the, with the, wrapping it up, the Chiefs took Felix, uh, Hemudek, uh, Uzoma, defensive end, K Kansas State. And then we're about to open for round two of the NFL draft and pick number 32. Uh, and we'll get to that in a moment. Right now, we're going to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 NFL draft trivia question. Who did the New York Jets take number one overall in the 1996 uh, NFL draft that featured the likes of Ray Lewis, Terrell Owens, and Jonathan Ogden? And if you said... Keyshawn Johnson, you are correct. Keyshawn Johnson was the Jets' number one overall pick in 1996, and uh, he was well liked by uh, not only Lewis, Owens, and uh, I did by all of the New York Jets, and he's been a vital player for them. Uh, I'll have another trivia question on my next po on tomorrow's podcast, so stay tuned for that. Or actually, no, you will not get a podcast. Uh, trivia question tomorrow, but you will get one of my next podcasts sometime this next week. Uh, so, uh, and we're about to kick off night two and uh, night two, round two of the 2023 NFL draft. 
And I said, uh, yeah, I feel the Browns get taking their wide receiver or an edge rusher. And my friend, man, Murphy, he doesn't know much about this year's uh, picks, LOL. Well, that's, that's understandable to him. And hopefully he'll be back with me next year. And hopefully he'll be with me when I, for the Browns, open season opener uh, in September. And right now, the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers are on the clock. For pick number 32. Now let's see who they take. And so, uh, and uh, this is a uh, uh, and wind up the 20th. They have a 98 third in the AFC North Steelers, and they're hoping to do better this season, but we'll see. How uh, their uh, how this how their season will go when the regular season begins for the 2023-24 uh, uh, NFL campaign. Uh, and we're waiting for the pick to come in. And uh, uh, we will see who the Steelers will take. They've got a. And I think they're probably going to take either an inside linebacker or a wide receiver, or possibly an offensive tackle. We'll see it. As we've mentioned, Will Lewis, quarterback, Kentucky, is hoping to get off uh, the line, the uh, off the board tonight. So, uh, and we will see if he does get off the board tonight. And uh, and uh. And so, uh, and I feel there's no shame in players going in the second round. And uh, they've just mentioned that right now. And I feel there's no shame in that because I think a lot between the second and third round, they're really going to come off the board tonight. There will be a lot. And there's Broderick Jones who got selected last night uh, by the, um, the, uh, and uh, still that five pick from any Broderick Jones uh, was picked uh, by the uh, the Steelers last night. That's who the Steelers took last night. And so we will see. You can see the Steelers draft room, their uh, war room. So, uh, uh, so, uh, and well, the Steelers need a quarterback, an inside linebacker, and a defensive tackle. And I think, I think that one of them they will take. So we will see who in just a matter of moments. As they're coming up on four minutes until they have to submit their uh, their picks. So uh, we shall know in a matter of moments uh, who the Steelers will take uh, with this uh, pick 32, this first pick in round two. So... Uh, and uh, I really think uh, uh, it's going to be either an, in an inside linebacker, wide receiver, or cornerback, or defensive tackle. We will see. And uh, uh, and uh, we will see in a matter of moments who they take. And there's a lot of names that are hoping to get off the board uh, tonight, and a lot of. Uh, uh, players are, and uh, Rashad Johnson, running back Texas, is one of those hoping he's available. And I think one of these teams will need a, a, a running back. And and uh, here's one that the Browns are targeting uh, uh, Jonathan Mingo of uh, of uh, Jonathan Mingo is one that the Browns are targeting. Uh, 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 Jonathan Mingo is one of the running backs they are targeting from Mississippi, and, uh, and he put up a lot of numbers with Mississippi last year, and he could be who the Browns pick, and we'll get him. And the Steelers pick is in. We're going to find out in just a matter of moments. Hopefully, we'll get somebody coming over to the mic uh, in just a few seconds. And I know the Steelers fans are anxious to find out who uh, their team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, have selected. Now, last year, they, did, they selected quarterback uh, uh, Kenny Pickett. He was a great selection for them. 
And uh, and this is the uh, top, the fifth, the top ten uh, uh, under Mike uh, Tomlin, head coach Mike Tomlin, and so and so we'll see who the pick, who the Steelers are picking, who they will select, and we're waiting for the pick to come in. Uh, you can see the Steelers draft her in war room one more time. And their pick is in, so we're waiting for somebody to come up to the microphone and announce their pick, their selection pick. So uh, we will be finding out uh, these Steelers, who they have selected in just a matter of moments. Uh, and uh, I really think it's going to be an inside linebacker, wide receiver, offensive tackle, or a cornerback, either way. And uh, and uh, I really think uh, that, that that's what it will be. Uh, and Darnell Washington, tight end Georgia, is really hoping to get off the board uh, tonight. We're about to find out right now who the Steelers have selected. It's an honor and a privilege. So now with the 32nd pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, Pittsburgh Steelers select Joey Porter Jr. And they have selected Joey Porter Jr. Uh, cornerback Penn State. And I think that was a good move. As they do need a good cornerback. So, uh, that, that's what they do need. And right now, I'm out of time for this first segment. I'm going to come back in just a moment. And the uh, Cardinals will be on the clock for uh, uh, pick number uh, 33. Uh, so stay with us. I'm coming right back. So a lot more to come. Running around trying to be just like them. And younger brothers and two older sisters. My sister Jasmine was really getting kicked out of school at a younger age because I wanted to take care of her. So uh, my mom took it upon herself to open up school. In the opening three. Really, whenever I'm down and I hope I listen to my sister Jazzy and she really puts a big smile on my face. I know she's a big football fan because every time it's on, she's watching it. She's getting on that jersey and all So every time I'm out there, I think of her and put it on for her. In the league, but it's really special to go to the same team. We, we just saw it last night with Harris Jones Jr. lining up with the Arizona Cardinals, the same franchise that his father played for in Tampa the other time. And now it's Joey Porter Jr. will try to carry on that legacy in Pittsburgh. And man, does this guy look the part of a Chris Man quarterback, right? The six two and a half, 193 pounds. Very surprising quarter time, 4 4 6. So he's got the straight line speed. We look at him, what do you see? I think you're going to see it here. Using these 34 inch arms to press guys, reroute them in the line of scrimmage. He can run with anyone vertically. So I think he's got. 